Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a very beautiful energy, a stable energy. This is someone who's down to earth, someone who is abundant and secure. So this is someone who's also quite generous and um, self-sufficient in many ways. So if someone is seeing you in this way, they could be viewing you, um, thinking quite highly of you, putting you on a bit of a pedestal, but seeing you as someone who deserves the best, they see you as high quality. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy. We have the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, and the Three of Swords in the reverse energy so there is an energy here of someone who is seeing you as someone who is healing this could be someone who you had an ending with um there could have been some sort of a breakup or um a betrayal even with that ten of swords um but there was some sort of disappointment in love here and it may have resulted in a very painful ending um and there is an energy here of you recovering from that healing from that um or you're being perceived in that way so this person is seeing you as someone who is very strong someone who is um who knows their worth this is they, they really are seeing you as holding yourself in high regard and having a lot of dignity and um you know they are also seeing you in that way this is someone who's actually feeling like they suffered a loss when it comes to you um this person feels like you guys still have an energetic um spiritual connection with that um queen of cups they still feel emotionally connected to you and they still have a lot of feelings for you so let's clarify these cards um scorpio Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man in the reverse, and this is Pisces energy. So this is an energy, though, of someone who, even though this person is seeing you as, um, you know, top tier, high quality, they still see you as someone who they still have that connection with. There's an energy, a bit of a stubborn energy with the Hanged Man being in the reverse, whereby this person may still not take accountability. It's like this person, they refuse to change. Um, they're, they're having a hard time seeing things from your perspective. Um, this person, they may even feel as if you walked away from them or that you are, um, you know, giving up on them in some way. Um, but this person, they, they feel like, you know, they, they're having a hard time seeing your point of view when it comes to the situation. But they still do see you as someone who is... Um, you know, someone that they can't get over, someone that they still feel very emotional about. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so we have the Death card, and this is Scorpio Energy. Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy. So with the Death card, there is an energy of forward movements. You could have moved on from this person or they see you as someone who is moving on. It's like this person is viewing you as refusing to settle for less than what you deserve. Um, they're seeing you as someone who is upgrading, you're leveling up, you're transitioning, you're transforming. And while they are happy for you, they're proud of you, they see you um, in, in, in a positive light, there's also this feeling of you're leaving them behind. 
that's how they feel. Um, this person, they feel like they need you um, with that six of pentacles. They do feel like um, things between you are not balanced between you guys. Um, and they, they are wishing that the situation was different with that wheel of fortune. This is someone who is wishing for a change. Um, but they are also seeing you as someone who's very powerful, someone who's taking back their power and who's not settling for less. And this person, there's even a realization that they need to step up their game. But at the same time, they have doubts that they could be able to do this um, with that um, hanged man in the reverse. Okay, so I'm going to plot an oracle card for you, um, Piper Scorpio. So the card says communication is key, new moon in Gemini. So this person does feel like they're struggling to see your perspective and some sort of communication could help this. Um, there is an energy of misunderstandings as well. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. So the card says soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so this person feels like spiritually you guys are still connected. They feel like this connection has a higher purpose. There's some sort of soul meeting when it comes to you. And with that Queen of Cups, they feel like this is a spiritual connection. This person may even view you as their soulmate. So this is someone who sees you as very significant in their life. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. So the card says Magnolia, nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Okay, so this person, they see you in this light of someone who has a lot of dignity, someone who's, who knows their worth with a high self-esteem. Um, and there's even an energy of them wanting to be more like that as well. There's an energy of someone who feels like they need your help. They want you to help them to transform or to transition. Um, but at the same time, they, they, there's also some feelings of resentment around this because they do feel like you are transitioning, you're moving forward from them. Um, but they still feel like they still feel tied to you energetically. They feel like they can't let you go. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.